What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and firstly I'd like to apologise for the lack of uploads over the last couple of days. There have certainly been some ups and downs and I will get on to more of that throughout this vlog um, but today is a very exciting day, first of all because I'm in Los Angeles, um, there's some really cool stuff planned but first I'm going back up Runyon Canyon. I've got my running shoes on, you may have seen Sam's video where I raced him or attempted to race him in the GT350 Shelby and now myself and Rob are going to be going up the canyon taking a bit more of a a relaxed trip up so that you guys can just check out some of the views and what we actually get up to on some of our downtime when we're not filming. Now uh, Uber is perfect timing we have to get an Uber because it's all the way up there somewhere up in the hills uh, so uh, we're in an electric Prius. So pretty much every morning not that we've been filming it because um, we make ourselves look like we're the most unfit people ever uh, but yeah we head up to the top of the Runyon Canyon and uh, stupidly decided that one day we were going to race a car. Sam thoroughly enjoyed that because he was in an air-conditioned 5.2 litre V8 Ford Shelby GT350. Um, but I want to take you on a quick journey and adventure so you guys get to see a different, different sight of LA because when you're up at the top you get an awesome view, get to see the Hollywood sign and it's just a pretty cool atmosphere, it's a cool vibe and it actually like cleanses any sort of stress that you've got, just a good little stress reliever. So uh, let's head up to the top, check out what LA looks like from above, and then get back down, meet up with the Stradman in his purple Lamborghini. And then we're going for a cruise. Ta-da! We've got the sea over there. The sea's over there. That's like a more hardcore Runyon Canyon that I've already suggested to Rob that we do after this. And then you've got downtown LA over there. The observatory, if you zoom in, the Hollywood sign is somewhere over there. Man, it's so cool. Such a cool place and huge, like massive. This is the top. That's our road back. But that's LA. We've just walked out. Have lunch. Oh, that looks amazing. Tacos, veg, rice, and a one hell of a burrito. Yeah. And James has arrived. Bang on time. And this car has got the proper stock V10 butterfly valve exhaust system, which is my favourite, one of my favourite sounding cars ever. Awesome. Have a good one. Thank you. See you, you guys. I love it. <laughs> Something about a purple Lamborghini. <laughs> it's so much fun. How daily is the Gallardo with a ski box on the roof? It is the most practical Lamborghini ever. <laughs> I don't actually live in LA, I live in Utah. <laughs> like and you've seven, got all your stuff yeah, up all there. my gear up there, it's like <laughs> seven, eight hundred miles away. That's madness. Very, very sensible, very practical, and we're yes. just parking it in an underground car park along with other, other cars. Other sensible cars. Yeah. Back in the uh, Lamborghini Gallardo now, and we're meeting up with a friend of yours yes. who has got a, a Volcano Red 675 LT, or an American 675. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, we're going to meet up, and then we're going to go for a bit of a cruise. Yeah, we're going to head out to Malibu. Oh, oh, I love that place. ECH, for yeah. the sunset. It's going to be awesome. With a purple Lamborghini and a dark red 675. LT. So basically the entire plan of today was to meet up with James because he had a drive date with this incredible Volcano Red LT Spider. That is just absolutely mental and personally this is my favourite looking McLaren in my favourite colour of McLaren and it's got satin carbon everywhere, the roof is in satin black, 
it looks painted it doesn't look wrapped satin carbon oh my god look at the wheels my favorite wheels this if i was going to get a mclaren is what i'd have if i had the money <laughs> but i don't So we've met up with the 675 LT. It is now behind us. I oh, know it's not. <laughs> That's the last time I'm going to beat him, probably. <laughs> Out of nowhere. We're just chatting away. Chatting away. <laughs> We do for the vlogs, we try to get up with the event at all. Just seen another Aventador up in the distance. It's a Mac Grey one or a grey one. We need to we need to hunt it down, yes, James. We, deal. we got good racing. I know. <laughs> yes, we have caught up with it. <laughs> that is really nice colour. California do we have an orange Lamborghini wrapped purple first of all those two colors work together secondly get out <laughs> on the beach <laughs> This has uh, got to be one of the coolest places in the world to take a car for a photo shoot. This is what you don't get in England. I'm just, I'm blown away by the entire scenery and uh, there's a 675 spider behind me. Whoa, no 
that's not even part of our gang. That's cool though. I'm genuinely, genuinely blown away by how good cars look underneath that golden sun. It is unbelievable and the roads here are insane. Like, I could just stare, I could literally just stare out here all day long. I mean, I don't think there is a better place to sign off from what has been a spontaneously epic vlog of all proportions of being here in Los Angeles, California um, and finishing off with a run down the Pacific Coast Highway with a Volcano Red 675 LT Spider. This is the sign off to uh, yeah, a pretty special vlog and one that I've thoroughly enjoyed making. I cannot wait to edit and look over some of the footage that I've been able to shoot today. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and tomorrow I will be uploading the Q&A that I shot yesterday with the 48 hours worth of car spotting fails that I did. So thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.